Okay, these are the notion pouches that I found in one of my um, stock crates. So they're like little pyramids and they are perfect for putting stitch markers and notions and stuff inside. So I've got a couple in the geometric print. I've got three in this print which has apples and pears on. I have one in the white sort of flowers. I've got a grey flowers. I've got two in the yellow. There is one in the peach. I've got another geometric with a black zip. So they have two. They're all different. Every single one is different. Um, apart from these two. These two both have orange zips. Um, so the idea was that we try to do a different colour zip with each one. We've got this one which has got plants on it. Like cacti. With a yellow zip. And there's a another geometric one there. And then this one is actually like the leftovers. So some of the off cuts that I quilted all together to make up another one. And then I also found some of my A5 size ones, they're slightly smaller than A5. Um, so we've got, so that's Henry Alexandra print, print I think, we've got, which has a blue zip. Is it blue zip? Yes. That one has a blue zip and we've got froggies. We have another one of these with a purple zip. So they're like a 60s print. So you, like that's Twiggy down there. Then I've got a Paper Panda one with a pink zip. Some polka dots with a blue zip. I've got this one which has different words related to um, sewing. On that one with a black zip. And then I have a skull with red flowers with a red zip so yeah i'm gonna get some more photos of these and pop them up on the website This is day 25 of October and it's quite an overcast day today. It is the morning. Um, I have made breakfast. It's almost 11 o'clock though. I literally snoozed all my alarms this morning and got up about half past nine thinking that it was like half past ten. Um, I am writing off yesterday because I didn't do very much. I pretty much doom scrolled most of yesterday. Um, Basically, I've been feeling really low. Um, I did go shopping yesterday with literally all that I had left. I put petrol in my car. I put £5 in my car because I was in the red zone. And I'm still in the red zone. And that was all that I had left in my account. So, yeah. And um, at work, because it's done 
but there's a cut off period i won't get paid till the end of november so to say i'm worried a little bit yeah um so i don't like relying on other people so i'm gonna i'm waiting to get my november rotor so that i can try and book some stalls at Barras Market on weekends but that hasn't come through yet so yeah I'm waiting for that to come through um yeah today there is a creative event in Paisley today so I need to find out whereabouts it is and how I'm going to get there whether I need to get the train or whether I can drive there it is the creatives from the University of the West of Scotland um to like graphics designers and all different types of creatives um but they don't do like fashion and textiles so Ralph really wants me to go and have a look around and maybe make some connections so he has given me some money to do that um yeah so that's the only thing on my list of things to do today that's a lie i need to go to the post office as well um and i was going to walk there because i didn't want to waste the fuel in my car when i need it for work so but if i take it with me to paisley then i can post it in paisley so it will get posted today that's the plan because i finished up the mini ghosts that i've been working on and got them all boxed up and ready to go i even found some stickers to include so i'm hoping that's going to be really cute i found all my halloween stickers like business related ones um so yeah that was fun and i am super tired i think it's because i had the low day yesterday there's other things going on as well which make me a bit depressed but yeah basically i don't like it when people don't believe me like i'm certain that i've done something and they're certain i haven't so anyway um yeah so that is pretty much it pretty much it for today i think ralph's got karate this evening i only put one row into my secret crochet project yesterday which puts me on row 25 i've done row 25 that's the difficult row for me because i end up juggling three different colors um to do the stranded version so <clears throat> yeah that's the difficult one done anyway and then i've got literally 25 rows no 23 rows and then i have to do that row again and then so i'm nearly i'm over i'm halfway through this repeat now so i need to finish that by the end of this weekend yeah i need to finish that this weekend so i've got 25 rows to do on that and then next week i'll have 50 rows to do i've only got one shift at the moment for next week which is wednesday so yeah we'll see how it goes um i did have a very good day at work yesterday though i made loads of toys like loads of bears i had loads of great connections with some of our customers um there was one group of kids they came in and they each got a bidoof a pokemon so that was really really cool that was fun but yeah so many birthdays which is also good so yeah i had a great time at work i just had a low for the rest of the day anyway so yeah i'm gonna eat breakfast get myself showered find out where this event is and then i guess by that point i'll need to leave so and then when i get back i'll just crochet i really need to do some crochet so yeah um i'll put in the fit the footage from yesterday which was probably gone before this anyway um that i did get that let's get on with today it's Friday. Let's get on with the day.
home from Paisley and yeah so <laughs> the the little creatives event that I went to um was a little bit busy for me I got there about quarter past two ish and it was on till three o'clock maybe earlier than that um and I think there was like eight different vendors there was a couple of people dressed up and I think they were waiting to start some music contribution as well there was loads of food and drink and stuff there's a little bar there but I went in, had a look at all the different artists. So they're mostly graphics designers. Some of them had products and gifts and things to buy. I picked up a badge, which I will grab in a second because it's in my bag. I forgot to get it out before I started to pick up the camera. Um, I did pick up business cards for those that had them. And I have been and liked them on Instagram and followed them. Some of them don't have any posts yet, but they had some really cute... Um, illustrations and paintings and things like that available some of them do stickers and yeah I didn't have any cash on me though um one of the vendors I would have really liked to have purchased a couple of their pieces but I didn't have any cash so the badge that I bought was a pound um which I had in like 20 p's and that's it so yeah I had a had a nice little trip there and on my way back, I popped into the pie company, Paisley Pie Company. It had another one of their pizza pies and a mint aero cheesecake. And I thought I'd sit down for a little while and eat those up. I've been listening to my book on my Audible. I think I'm a good few more chapters in now. So I might put that on later, maybe. Ralph should be home soon, actually. No, he won't because he's going to karate. He'll be home about half past seven-ish, maybe a bit later. And yeah, so I'm going to sit down with my secret crochet now. And what I'll do is take a picture of all the business cards I picked up. Um, There was one one vendor they had, or there was, some of them were like coupled. So there was like two people for each stall. And someone had made a... Remy, a crocheted Remy from Ratatouille, which was just so cute. So, yeah, but they're all very young. And I did speak to someone and she said about not selling on Instagram and only having like so many likes. And I, I explained that, like, I've had this YouTube channel for five years now and it's taken me five years to get to a thousand subscribers. I said it takes time and not to worry about that pressure you know things will get there you just have to keep at it and so yeah hopefully um she took something away from that and i've noticed that it gave me an, a notification saying that she's also followed me so yeah hopefully um i'll be able to get a couple of her prints she had these really cute little dragons they were so adorable. I might see if I can get a screenshot of her Instagram. Her name is Aaliyah and she goes by Leah. So yeah, that was really cute. Um, yeah, so I'll pop information in the description box for you if I remember. If I don't, do remind me because I think I've said that before that I would put some information in the box and I haven't done that. So yeah, just remind me and I'll do it. <laughs> Um, I can hear four moving around in his enclosure, obviously stretching his legs a little bit. I'm going to go and change my trousers because I wore my, a pair of my jeggings today to go out because they're a bit warm and they're like jean material. Um, but they're not ideal for sitting down in long periods of time. So I'm going to go change them into something a bit more comfortable. Then I'm going to pop the telly back on for some Vlogtober. I need to edit day 23, I think, still. So I'm going to sit and do that first and then I'm going to spend the rest of the evening crocheting. So you might see some of that. Um, I did take a little bit of footage whilst I was away, whilst I was out. So, and some pictures. I did find a couple more pumpkins. Um, they're the same ones we, we spotted before um, from the trail. But these are just two that I spotted um, on my way, on my own. So yeah, that's my little trip to Paisley. Um, it is... What's the time? Quarter to five. So I've got a couple of hours before um, Ralph comes home. Let's get this 
um, video edited and then I will crack on with some crochet. I've dug out all the business cards and my little badge that I bought. And this is the badge. So there's a little owl in a witch's hat and she's sitting on top of a skull as well. Now the only thing that I had didn't notice before is the pin is this way up. So I don't know how secure it's going to be. But that's the badge I bought for a pound. I've just taken pictures of all of the business cards. However, they're not showing up very well. So this one is Felix the Ram Art. Then we have Aaliyah Davis. And I will try and put all their Instagram tags on top. This one is Sophie Morrison. I love that they've all got like a different, different style. This is Emily Camp, Campbell, Campbell, and then Nikki Sturton. Now Nikki's Instagram is not linked on to her um, business card, but if you search Nikki Sturton on Instagram, then it will come up with her. So yeah, I will put all of their links down below. Do go over and give them a follow because they are budding artists and it'd be really nice to um, support them. Mm -hmm.